Alright guys, welcome back to JForce Gaming and PDF files is one of the most common things alright that you edit either you're applying for school, applying for job, you know, or basically filling up any forms. Most places or most organization requires you to, you know, fill up the PDF and send it back in PDF. And the troublesome part is editing a PDF is really, really hard right, and no annoying to do so. And the only thing that can actually edit a PDF document is Adobe Acrobat. And those things cost are really, really costly. And I don't think you will want to pay such, you know, a costly price or right, just to edit one or two documents so today i have the perfect solution for you all right and the software i use to edit every single pdf i have all right and it is with the help of this software right here all right so this is the wondershare pdf element 11 all right and this thing is really really amazing all right and this thing has way more features all right than a traditional Adobe Acrobat. You heard that right? Yes. So this thing has a built-in AI that can help you do a lot of things on your PDF document like summarizing, translating, all right, and um, the software itself can also help you convert all right, from PDF to Word or any other you know, documents you want all right, and it is so easy to edit on this software. So later I'm going to demonstrate how you guys can edit a PDF document with ease without any issues and trouble at all. So this software is really, really extremely feature packed, way more feature packed than Adobe Acrobat. So without further ado, let me just go ahead and show you the software itself. Let's go. All right, so as you guys can see, this is the software itself and there is a lot of things we are going through today. But um, for the basic thing that you guys probably will be most useful for will be the editing of PDF document. So, you know, PDF document are very hard to edit. Either you convert it to Word, but sometimes during the conversion, all right, in Word, it might be have a bit of like, you know, the, the signature or the or the table might be a bit offset. So it's a very, very annoying thing. All right, it happens a lot of time before when I either when I convert PDF to like Word document or PowerPoint and all this. It's very, very annoying. So I'm going to just go ahead and select edit PDF. All right, and just go to my desktop. Okay, and uh, this is the... Um, this is the one. Okay, so this, for example, this is a PDF document. All right, let me just show you, okay. Okay, as you guys can see, it is PDF and this is PDF, so you cannot edit it at all. Very annoying. All right, so uh, yeah, so in, in the software itself, all right, they let you edit every single thing on the form. So let me just zoom in so there is a zoom. You can zoom in, okay? All right, so um, yeah, to edit it's very, very simple, okay? So you can just, you can edit, you can even edit the form itself. You guys can see, all right, you can, can also edit the PDF form that was sent to you. So I can just, you know, delete this. So you can edit every details, all right, on the PDF. Can, I can delete all this, you know. And if you want to, you know, add text, you guys can go and add text over here. All right, and you can just fill in whatever text you want. You can resize it, all right. And you can, you know, you can choose, you know, the font size, how big, how small, all right. So that they have a lot of things and you can just move it wherever you want, all right. So this one, you can also add in your own thing. Right, you can can see you can edit it as well. Very very simple. You can edit everything on the form itself. All right, and you guys can select different fonts, spacing, all this. So all this you can fill up very very easily and very very fast. You can add a tag. Just click on that. You type anything you want in the field. All right, and uh, yeah. Okay, and so you guys can if you highlight this, you, know, you guys can choose like you know different summarize, explain, grammar check, rewrite. All these are very very helpful, especially those who are using this to fill up in English. All right, or maybe some of you are not really good in English and you afraid that you might fill up wrong. You can use AI to check your grammar. All right, and this is uh, <laughs> I don't know why I type, but yeah, you can use it to check your grammar. All right, if the grammar is correct, you know it's accurate. Okay, and then you can drag it anywhere you want on the field. So yeah, very, very useful, really awesome. All right, you can add image, you can add link to it, you can add watermark to prevent anyone from copywriting. You can add background as well to the PDF document. All right, but I think most of us will be filling up PDF forms. So uh, yeah, I think this is really, really useful in um, filling up PDF forms. Or you can add comments so that, you know, maybe this part you want someone to fill it up, you can add a comment over here. Or you can ask, ask someone to like comment on it. Okay, so you can like, um, here you have to write like, you know, fill this up. 
if you are, if you are sending this to an applicant, you can tap, add a comment here, ask them to fill this up. So, you know, when they go to here, they know this field needs to be filled up. All right, you also can convert all kinds of things over here. Word document, Excel, PPT, to text, to PDF, or and a lot more to HTML as well. So yeah, so um, the, the most basic one will be to Word. So if you guys want to, you know, convert it to Word. Okay, so you can choose uh, Word document, Excel, PowerPoint. All right, and you can click OK, and it will convert it for you. So uh, I'm not going to convert it. So yeah, you can convert to any other file format you like. You can view it, you can, uh, you can add certain view, all this. You can organize it, you can see different pages. You can like, you know, switch, switch, switch between pages. So you want like this page to go to this page, you can rotate around different pages. Really, really awesome, all right? You can replace, there's so many things you can do, all right? I think if I were to explain every single thing on this, uh, on this video, all right, it's gonna, this whole video is gonna be one, two hours long, all right? But you guys can see the amount of things that you can do on this is really, really unlimited, all right? It's just up to what you need. They all have it over here, all right? They have tools as well, so you guys can use the tools, all right, for various properties like combine, compress, compare, all right? Form, so in this form mode, you know what to fill up, all right? What to press, all this and that. So, you know, so you can you can add like a checkbox, so like, you know, checkbox over here for someone to use. You can see, you can add a checkbox as well. Or you can send it to the page. So I send it to the side. You can add a radio button. So you can you can use this to create your own form as well. So you know you can add a like, radios button or this. So you can create your own um form for other people to fill up in PDF. So yeah, this one not only can help you fill up PDF form, but if you need to create a PDF form, you can use this as well. All right, so you can recognize form, you can add date field, you can extract data, and there's a lot more you can do with it, all right? You can add protection to it, all right? You can encrypt it, you can um, request e-sign. This is a very, very popular thing. So if you want someone to sign it digitally, you guys can use this. So they will sign it and it will be sent to you digitally. So, um, you know, they won't have a lot of issues with it. You know, digital signature is one of the easiest thing. All right, your clients or anyone need to sign something. It is the easiest to do, all right? And I'm talking so much about all these things you can do. All right, let's just talk about the AI. What does the AI can do? So it can AI chat. So you can chat with the PDF. I think it's really cool, all right? So the PDF, if you can chat with AI itself, if you have any other, you know, things that you want to ask generally that's not related to the PDF document, like maybe give some ideas on, you know, you know uh, what to include in your PDF, all this, you can chat with the AI as well. Or you can check with PDF or what they will talk about what is inside. You know, you can like you can ask like um summarize the okay, oh, okay wait, sorry, maybe you can say it. what is this PDF document about? I mean I mean sometimes you know a PDF document can be like hundreds of pages and you know and a lot of words. So instead of like maybe that's those like terms and condition and you know you you don't want to spend time reading the terms and condition. You can just use this, all right? They will summarize the important terms and conditions so to see if you want to accept or not. Sometimes they have those hidden terms and conditions you may not know, right? So yeah, you can just like, okay, you can say what is this uh, PDF about? Okay, so they will analyze this whole PDF. Alright, and uh, tell you what this PDF is about. Okay, so you guys can see you have summarized for me. Alright, so it says this PDF document is an application form for the frank education loan offered by OCBC Bank. It includes section for personal details, employment information, tax residency. Uh, if so you will so um, if you will sum out important information that you know required to fill out for this form and what this form about and it is hundred percent accurate. So yeah, this is in fact an education loan form. Alright, so yeah, it's very, very use useful. Alright, and they also have AI summarized. Uh, or you can just use this one as well. It will summarize the whole thing for you. You can translate as well. If this is foreign language, you can use this to translate as well. You can translate a different word or you can translate a PDF. Alright, but currently this is in English, so there's nothing to translate. Alright, or you guys can translate it to like other language. They have a lot of language over here as well, to German. Okay, and you can like maybe select like this one. And then, okay, you also want to highlight this area. You can just translate, and you'll be in German. So it is very very fast, All right? Very very extremely useful as well. You can AI generate a PPT or generate Markdown. All right, so uh, yeah, so this is the AI generator one. So it is it com it's changed from a PDF into a presentation. All right, so um yeah, you can 
Oh, sorry, my account has your credit, but you are uh, you can turn your PDF into like a PowerPoint presentation. You will sum up, you know, the important details and present it in a slide. So it's very, very extremely useful if you are, you know, in you doing like you know having meetings. All this, this is extremely, extremely useful and save you a lot of time. So you guys can have more time. You can finish your work faster. Your boss will like you faster. And the best part is you can. You can rest the whole time, right? So just with a one click of a button, you don't need to, you know. Sometimes if you were to do it in office, they ask you, okay, I want you to take up because important point in this PDF document and you know create a PPT, a PowerPoint slide for the meeting later, blah 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 and whatever. So you can use this to generate a PP PowerPoint slide from it. It is very very time saving, right? And they have AI generation detect as well. So um, yeah, you you will de detect the form, okay. And uh, you 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 de you detect if it is, a uh, human return or AI generated. So sometimes if you think that you know maybe your if you're a teacher, sometimes your the student may submit like some stuff, and you know you want to detect if it's real, um, submitted by the student, alright, written by the student, or it is generated by AI like ChatGPT or whatever. You can use this to detect as well. Right, it's ca it can be very, very useful. So there's a lot of other stuff as well. You can add a different attachment. You can search for like certain words like, you know, certain words in it. Okay, so yeah, you can see you will show out the words that you want in this document. Okay, and you can have layers of it, you can have bookmarks, you can have different thumbnails as well. So uh, there's so many things you can share, you can upload it to the cloud so you know, you know, make sure that, you know, your PDF stays. And there's a backup for a PDF, it's a really, really important document. Uh, there's different alignment, there's so many settings you can do below here as well. Okay, you can like, switch to different pages, alright, no need to scroll. So there's so many things, alright. And the uh, OCR is the optical character recognition, all right? So it can recognize like any text in a picture. So if the PDF document contains like um, um, pictures that has text, it can extract the text in the pictures. That's super this is also extremely useful as well. So this tool, like I say, has way more features than a traditional Adobe Acrobat. So uh, Adobe Acrobat, first of all, you pay like twice the price for this software, all right? And you only get limited functions like edit pdf maybe like um submit as pdf or you can do e-signing on pdf this and that All right but not so advanced like this so this is the one of the most advanced pdf editor that i have seen and i've used and i have no issues with it it works just very instant save me a ton of time All right and not only that all right this pdf of the editor all right so if you want to do it on the go you guys can also have it installed on your phone also you have it on android they have the app for android as well so you can edit your pdf on the go on your phone as well on ios and sometimes you don't want to do it on your phone and you don't want to download any software you can use their online tool as well so they have a lot of things all right so this one is really really awesome you get most of the features they have in the software itself all right all over here so you guys can do all right continue your work from your pc all right to your phone so it's very very awesome and it works seamlessly across all platform so this is one of the most comprehensive or right, pdf editor i have used all right and i i have never seen anything that is better than this all right so this is the top of the line or right, pdf editor all right so if you are out there looking for a really really comprehensive a really good and yet a very cheap pdf editor that can do everything for you this is definitely the pdf editor you should look for all right so once again well check out this wonder share all right pdf element 11 you guys can go ahead and check out the first link in the video description down below go ahead and check it out and definitely get the license for yourself it will be way more cheaper than adobe acrobat license and you get way more functions i think this is a win-win situation all right so so yeah so if you guys want to save time um edit pdf with ease all right highly recommend you guys to check out this software right here all right once again i'll link this software the first link in the video description down below for you guys to check it out so yeah that's all for you guys if you guys do this video give it a thumbs up and if you guys want more video video like this let me know in the comment section as well and without further ado this is j force gaming and i shall see you guys in my next video peace out i don't want to cry